Well, the prize came as a, a very great surprise to me and uh, I, I feel absolutely delighted and very proud. Many of the previous recipients have been great chemists that I admire, so it was very special to be awarded this. It, it was particularly gratifying uh, with this award to see that the field of nucleic acids uh, has been acknowledged in this way by, by the chemistry community. So my, my research is focused around the study of DNA from a chemist's perspective. And my recent findings have been in three major areas. Uh, one actually goes back over a decade. I, I contributed towards the invention of a new way of, of sequencing DNA that's now being used routinely for decoding human genomes. Uh, another recent and important area from my group is a study of four-stranded DNA structures, which we call G-quadruplexes. And we've recently gathered good evidence that these structures exist in the nucleus of human cells, and we have some inklings as to what they're doing. The third area where we've made an impact is, is one that we've only recently started working on, and that is to do with the chemistry of the DNA bases, and G, C, A, and T are the four canonical bases, and there's been a fifth one, methyl C, um, involved in epigenetics that's been known for some decades. But in the last four or five years, there have been some exciting discoveries in the field about other variants of these DNA bases, in particular oxidized derivatives of the C base. And my, my group has, has contributed towards chemical methods for sequencing some of these other modifications in the last three years. All of our work has really involved investigating the chemistry, um, the character, both structural and functional, of DNA. And DNA is, is fundamental to all living systems. And so being able to decode the sequence of DNA rapidly is now enabling the sequencing of genomes of, of many different species on the planet in a way that wasn't possible before. And in particular with humans, it's enabling the decoding of human genomes to help us understand the genetic basis of disease. Um, the four-stranded DNA work is, is at a much more earlier stage, but we, we've here helped demonstrate that a new structural form of DNA exists in life. And we have, with others in the field, shown that this structure has links with mechanisms that are important for the biology of cancers. And by designing small synthetic molecules that target these structures, um, we and others in the field have started to show that we can interfere with the, the biology of cancer. So it's very early days but I think a vision for this area is that it'll provide um, some new concepts for the development of future therapeutic molecules. Now the, the third area is even more early stage. In a sense, we're now looking at more than four letters of the DNA genetic alphabet that occur in nature, and, and so we, we, we don't really know much about what these other letters are doing. So we're, we're at the beginning of exploring potential new functions for chemically modified derivatives of, of DNA. And DNA is, is so fundamentally important to life that um, I'm sure this will have implications for, for diagnosis and treatment of disease at some point in the future. The kind of research that we do in my lab um, requires a variety of um, technologies and processes. Um, my group is fundamentally a chemistry group, um, although we have two laboratories, one in a chemistry department and one in a cancer biology institute. And we, we use methods that are fundamentally rooted in chemistry, synthetic organic chemistry, we also utilize a lot of physical measurement methods. Now on the biology side, we, we make extensive use of molecular and cell biology methods. 
And more recently, we're, we're also making good use of genome sequencing, which is nice because we played a role in inventing that in the first place. To make um, research successful, you require a, a variety of resources. Uh, the single most important is people. Um, so I'm very fortunate to, throughout my career, have had a team of a bright, energetic, young scientists, postdocs and PhD students, without whom none of this work would have been possible. We, we work as a team, but the team has to be embedded within um, an environment that has bigger facilities, which we have here in the chemistry department and also in the Cancer Institute, where my laboratory is. And, and this all needs, of course, continuous infrastructure funding and funding for specific projects through grants.